counting on and back in hundreds is the same as counting on and back in tens, just working with different columns. First thing to remember, when counting on or back in hundreds, the tens and ones will always stay the same. So the seven tens and the seven ones won't change all the while we're counting on or back in steps of a hundred or anything bigger. Each time we count on a hundred or back a hundred, that hundreds column will change. What will the next three numbers be for this number if we're counting on in hundreds? Pause the video if you want to have a go. The first hundred will take that hundred up to 900. The next hundred we add on will need to take that nine digit back to zero, which means that we need to add one into the thousands column. And then the next hundred we add on will make that 1177. This time we're going to count back in hundreds. Again, the tens and ones will stay the same. The hundreds will change every time. The thousands will change if we have to cross that boundary. What will the next three numbers be if we count back in steps of a hundred from 1246? Pause the video and have a go. Taking away a hundred, that gives us 1146. The next one will give us 1046. We have zero in the hundreds column, so when we take the next hundred away, that becomes nine, which means we need to take one away from the thousands column, giving us 946. And then if we took another hundred away, we just keep going down the digits until we get back to zero again. Counting on and back in thousands works exactly the same, just one column along. The hundreds, tens and ones will remain the same if we're just counting on and back in thousands or more. What will the next three numbers be if we count in thousands from 8,777? Pause the video and have a go. The first thousand we count in, we'll take that 8,000 up to 9,000. 9,777. We're going to add another thousand on, which takes that 9,000 to zero, so we need to add one into the ten thousands column. And it's often helpful here to say we've gone from 8,000 to 9,000 to 10,000. And then when we add another thousand on, that brings us to 11,777. Counting back in thousands, we have 11,359, which means that's going to become 10,359. So that one in the thousands column will become zero. We have 10,359 and we're going to take it to 9,359, which means that when we put the nine in the one thousands column, we have nothing in the ten thousands column. 9,359, and then we just keep counting back in thousands, taking that thousand digit down lower 